So how their ranch has blinking, so some type of service is needed here. I will be the first to admit that I'm not a certified Navion expert yet, but I am taking the courses uh, in the very near future. So, and so are a couple of my guys. Hopefully we can catch it making the noise. Somewhere up here. Boop, 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 boop. Lagoon. Go ahead. I'll put it on like 70. Let it rip. This is Lagoon, Mr. Thomas. <laughs> there we go. Fire in a hole. Oh, there it goes. I started. It sounds like a Jake brake on like a, a diesel truck. That was it? That little sound right there? Yeah. The vibration? Yeah, it's a vibration. So you, can, you know what I mean? It, okay. It's more than what you... Right. You know, with the, with the lid on and all. Yep. It stays in there, so it's so louder. It's louder. It's one. short, but like that. Yeah. All right. Tell you what. And, and, and I was experimenting with it, it just seems like it's when the heat. Okay. Right. Tell you, let's shut it down and do it again. Right. Put the heater to sleep. <laughs> it's nap time. <laughs> like a good fireman, it's a nap time. During the summer, when I shut the heat off, all I do is turn that thermostat down. You can't hit up your heater or nothing like that. Yeah, no, because it takes care of... Yeah, yeah. The okay. primary loop takes care of your hot water, so... Oh, uh, okay. still, yeah. It's still the same. So basically, with that even off, I don't think it does it. I didn't test it, but I just tested it with the heat. Yeah. So if I shut the heat off and it calls for heat. Now we have we, a blinking wrench here, so I can't wait to see what prompt that is. And they'll, and they'll be able, they'll be able to do I that. I got the book here. Yeah. See, something sounds tired in here. Huh? Hear that vibration noise? I can feel it. You hear that noise? It's just a running noise. Yeah. I think after she reaches temperature and turns down, then it happens. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's not the temperature now, so. I caught it once, so it's definitely uh, no problem. But what I'm saying is, like, after it hits, like, say, 140 or something, 150, where it's set at, then when it calls for it again, that's when. I'll shut it off. Let's shut it let off. Let it settle. Yeah. And then we'll do it. And it'll do it. All right. Like it, like right now, it's up to 163, so it might be warm enough. We have a problem going on here with the believe is the fan motor. Now I had called a couple months ago. I don't know if it'll show record of it. A fan making noise, and they ran me some prompts, and I kind of don't even remember the day, but it's acting up again today. And I didn't do nothing to. We just kept it on a, a watch. So now I'm here again today, and the fan definitely makes a noise when it comes on, like a. Almost like a Jake brake on a uh, tractor trailer and then stops. Now, while I'm sitting here waiting on hold, we have the heat off right now. Nobody's calling for water and the fan's still running. 
which I find to be very odd. Thermostats turn all the way down. So I just discovered that. Uh, but the main reason for my call was the fan was making this vibration sound on startup of heat. <coughs> And we have it localized to the fan uh, motor up top. And the heat works, you know, and I got a flashing wrench tube now. Okay, and uh, on, the, on the temperature readout screen, yes. uh, what do you currently think is the light there? Uh, 130 for domestic and 172 Fahrenheit on the heat, or it's actually 129 now, we're, and we're not calling for heat. That's right, it's still right. All right, uh, on the keypad of the, the upper right hand corner, go ahead and tap the plus button one time, and uh, I, I, I think you get displayed an error code there. Yes, E060. Sir, got it. Alright, now from here, you can go ahead and tap the plus button until you see the letters D, V, E, and displays. That's going to be the dual and carry test mode. Got it. Alright, and uh, once you're there, you can go ahead and tap the mode button. You should see the word on display after yes. uh, a wait message. Yes. Test the hit what hit the man the little man. Uh, tap the minus button. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, it's off. I did hear. Uh, I did. I. Did, I, I I do hear the uh, click going each time I do it. Okay. And uh, does the click and the movement that you're hearing stop, or does it continue? Like, does it operate continuously? No, no. The click's a one-time shot, like a like a switch almost. Okay. Now this motor's still running up top. Just so you know. Top left. Okay. Yeah, that's actually part of the error code. Uh, the new fan motor is going to continuously operate as long as this error code is, uh, is present. Um, Okay. 
about 10 seconds, huh? Yeah, just about. You can go ahead and turn it back on now. There it is. That's the baby right there. You hear it. PSI. Okay. Go ahead and tap the plus button. Error code 60. Okay. Hold the wrench. Uh, no, at this point, uh, yeah, that, that error code is coming back immediately after installing power to the unit, so, uh, we are going to need to take some voltages here. Uh, okay. Do you have a multimeter on here? I do. Certified, you know what I mean? Alright, brown and. Oh, I can't read this shit. 72. 65. Bouncing around. Let me go again. Yeah, 65. It's bouncing around. Um, <laughs> One twenty two holding steady. Yeah, it's holding steady. No, I haven't taken nothing apart. I actually called you first. Okay. It's my first time dealing with this situation. Gotcha. And your okay. equipment. So, <clears throat> we went to the pro oh. first. Since we're, getting, uh, since we're getting that grinding noise here during operation of the fan motor, um, either, the, either the impeller is going to be damaged um, or the, the, the rotating assembly. Um, or there may be some kind of a, uh, or there may be some kind of a, uh, a, you know, a blockage. Um, but uh, we definitely need the material motor to be replaced on this one. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and type up a parts order for the fan motor assembly and the dual venturi here. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get both of them sent down. And uh, in the meantime, I mean, you can take the fan motor apart and see if there's any kind of uh, destruction or debris in there that, that might be, you know, causing the, uh, the, the fan motor to jam up. Um, and, you know, removing it may help. Uh, if not, you know, uh, 
uh, really, the, all, all that we can do is replace it because uh, there's, a, there's clearly some problem with the, uh, okay. the protein assembly here. Um, so uh, I'm going to place you on a brief hold here for just a little bit. Okay. And uh, I'm going to type up the sports order, and then we'll get right back with you to confirm some of the details for the oh. shipment, and uh, we'll get you all squared away here. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that, your help. Is that affected if you just use well. the order? Oh, I'll ask them to find out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, here's a question for you. Uh, uh, well, here's my my address. I'm sorry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to, the place is vacant right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the fan apart when we do the job when the parts are here. That's why I take it apart once. To do that, uh, again, I never changed one of these. Self-explanatory. I'm looking at it now. It looks pretty tough. I think I see it. Yep. The sur it's like a half moon, like a uh, like a horseshoe. Correct. I got you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Um, and then uh, on the uh, on the left hand side here, uh, the the other portion that uh, holds up that fan motor is actually going to be the gas pipe itself. Uh, so the gas pipe will need to be removed. Uh, there are four screws that pass in the gas pipe to the uh, dual material assembly, um, so that will get removed. Okay. And, Okay. Um, so you'll remove the gas pipe completely. That will then allow you to actually lift up uh, and, and rock out the uh, the, the fan motor dual venturi assembly. Okay. Um, it, it is going to take a little bit of finessing. It is kind of uh, cramped in there. But uh, uh, listen, I've done enough three-way valves to know. Is there a gas pipe in that thing? I've done enough three-way yeah, valves, you know. So. The, uh, the, the the fan motor is held onto the uh, dual venturi assembly by four screws. Uh, so those will need to be removed in order to separate the two the two components. Okay. Um, and uh, you know then at that point you can individually uh, inspect both of them. Okay. Um, Anything else you recommend to change with this wire? Have it apart, and you know in case uh, I'm running into some bugaboos. <laughs> Um, it would be advisable to check the uh, the fan damper, uh, so on the outlet side of the fan, uh, right as it uh, connects to the plenum on, on the top of the heat exchanger, uh, there is a silicone flapper uh, that, uh, uh, that that's going to be your fan damper. Uh, that needs to be moving freely. Um, uh, if it's melted or has any, any kind of damage to it, um, you know, that, that's going to require to be replaced, obviously. Uh, but if, uh, I mean, if it looks to be intact and moves freely, uh, that's really the only other thing that, that you might be looking for. Okay. Uh, other than that, um, everything that uh, needs to replace the fan motor and the dual material will be sent with it. All right, awesome. All right, man. Appreciate right. your help, man. And, uh, all right. And, uh, there is one last thing that I need to get here uh, for the fan motor uh, test. Uh, are you still in front of the unit at the moment? I am. Alright. So on the keypad, go ahead and press and hold the mechanic button in the upper left hand corner for about five seconds. Yeah, you one down part. What I'm going to do, I've already plugged in, I have it off. I'm going to plug it back in, okay? Okay, yep, yeah, not a problem. I'll go through its problem. I plug the, uh, the fan back in also. <clears throat> All right, you want to go to uh, the keyboard? I'm here. And what do you? All right. Yeah. So go ahead and press and hold the little mechanic button in the upper left-hand corner. You're gonna hold that until you see one dot bar. Okay. Okay. 
Got you. All right. And uh, from here, go ahead and tap the plus button until you see one or two dot TST, and then tap the mode button. Um, the Lord fan. Yep. Run a fan test here, just real quick. Okay. Uh, you're going to see some numbers on the screen that get displayed briefly. Uh, you're going to see an RPM value. Okay. And you're also going to see a voltage value that alternate between each other during the fan motor test. Uh, now, this is going to cause the fan motor to go through its operational range. So it's going to it's going to spin up to its highest RPM output, and then it's going to come back down to an idle. Um, and uh, what we're looking for here is the peak RPM value uh, at whatever voltage. Uh, the the uh, readout display is. Um, so whenever you're ready to begin the test, go ahead and tap the mode button. That will start the test, and uh, we'll see what the RPM values look like. Was interesting. <laughs> All right, she's done. Well, we're, how can I record these numbers for you? Uh, <clears throat> just whatever, whatever the uh, the highest RPM value that you saw on the screen, uh, that'll that'll be our our number. Um, if it went by quickly and you weren't able to catch it, you can you can always just tap the mode button again. That'll begin the test over. Oh yeah, let me do it again. All right. Uh, all right, George, keep an eye out. There's <laughs> 6,000 or something. Yeah. I'll read them out to you as it goes on. Is that cool? Yep. 0. 0.4, 0. 4 volts. 3581, 4875, 46, 6031. Right. 3998. 18, now it's dropping down. All right. Wow. All right. Not to record that. <laughs> well, the highest was six thousand plus. So. All right, so we're all good here. All right, you can go ahead and uh, tap uh, tap the reset button back out of this menu, or you can just unplug the unit if uh, if it's going to be uh, unpowered for the time being. Um, you should be all set to go here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, send up the fan motor and do a material assembly here to the address uh, that you provided for. Um, Uh, that was, uh, is there anything I can help you with other than that? No, we're good. Thank you. Yeah. All right, sir. Well, thank you very much for your time and your patience here. And I bet you have yourself a great day now. You too. Appreciate it. Thank you much. Goodbye. All right, folks. You see what we got. We're waiting for a part. What's that, brother? All right. So basically, I get the impression that it's not going to hurt nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it has. It's, uh, it's good. Come on, baby. There we go. It's, it's a pretty box, man. It's very <laughs> complicated. Oh, man. So, where you got it? Morris Avenue? Yeah. It sounds like a. I'm about to call the city up. I was just going to say, that sounds like yeah. it's in the street. <laughs> 